Sam, you're shaking your head. You agree. You want to see some substance. I do, but I want to bring it back to the menu for a second, <laughs> not just because I'm hungry, <laughs> but because typically the White House releases these kinds of details after, for example, the French president comes to the White House or another head of state comes for a state visit. So by releasing the details of the menu, this is again legitimizing Kim Jong-un and putting him on equal footing with other world leaders, which is what he wants. And I really want to stress here that this working lunch is perfunctory at this juncture. If Sarah Sanders is in the room, if we have the press secretary there, they're not diving into the kind of classified details. Now, one, one, one particularly interesting thing about the menu is I was thinking as you were reading all that out, Don, the poor North Korean people, if they million. knew mm -hmm. what is being dished out there, they, they can't even imagine the types of foods that, you, that you've rolled off your tongue. Right, because they, they just don't, it's a, it's a poor country, and because of Kim Jong-un uh, himself and his, and his family, again, uh, you're right, beef short ribs, combination of sweet and sour crispy pork, and Yanggu fried rice, Yangzu fried rice, soy braised codfish. I mean, that's, <laughs> that sounds really yummy and very expensive, um, by the way.